Alright, this is Mommy Hunter PS3, and this is part two of the Guide of Dark Souls. You will arrive at the Firelink Shrine, and you have 2,000 souls or whatever you got, 2,000 plus. There is a level up thing. You level up the bonfires. To level up, you just go to the bonfire and click level up. And you have sir, always stats, and whatever type of person you want to be, you can pick. But I suggest you only level up three or four of the stats that you really want to be. If you want to be a more of a melee type person, I'd go for some strength and mostly dexterity and vitality and endurance. But if you want to be more of a, a mage person, you should have picked the uh, sorcery by now and your intelligence would have been high and you would have had more mage spells a little more mage spells you gotta have more attunement slots the higher attunement the more attunement slots you get to hold your magic but i am not gonna level up now right now so i'll just make my way out of here right away you just cut back and right here you'll get three humanity humanity is used to turn into a human Right now I'm dead if you can tell by my face. When you're a human, there is people you can summon when you're human. You can, your drop potential is way better when you're a human. It's, it's basically a lot of, it, I don't need to be a human right now because there's not very many good drops here. Cause it's like basically the first level right after. But there's no point in using humanity right away when you start playing because when you're a beginner at this game, you do die a lot. Like you're gonna die a lot, even if you're even if you're an average player like me, you're still gonna die a lot. Like right away when you start, you get very very bad weapons, and these guys take two or three hits to kill. It's it's pretty pretty basic that, that you have to just tank a lot when you're more of a melee. If I would have picked the sorcerer, maging would have probably been a better option if you're a beginner, but I don't really like maging too much, but I might make this into have them have some mage spells later on in the game, but now I'm just going to stick to melee. But after you go through there in the tunnel, you'll come up to end the undead bird. And this is basically where you'll fight the second boss. But there's a white light there. It's basically kind of a checkpoint, but it doesn't really save you there unless you die. All your save spots are basically bonfires. But instead of going there, I hit those barrels and jumped down here just to grab a few items. Just to make sure I have some extra souls in case I need. You get these souls of undead. And then you just equip them in your inventory. You just go on these. Push X on your PS3 controller. And then you can pick your items. And you use these to acquire souls. You just push the down arrow on your PS3 controller. To pick what item you want down there. Pretty self-explanatory. See, when you're level 3, it's just, it's awful. You can't even one-hit these things that are 60 life points rubbish rubbish is down here too I don't really know what that's used for but I guess you won't hit most some of them if you go into two hand mode but two hand mode is a lot more dangerous because you die this game has to be one of the hardest games I've ever played you die so fast but it, when you climb up the ladder will be a humanity over here just to grab some extra items and then make our way to the white light I mean there might be a few more items but I usually only get the ones that matter ones that are important like right here there'll be a fucking dragon scares you kind of and then there's some of these guys right here, just take them all one at a time, lock on. Okay. 
the old, if you have the master key, you can open that door or the residence key, I believe, and there's a wooden shield there. Then when you get up here, you go into here, and you've got your next checkpoint and bonfire, so if you die, you'll spawn right here. And after that, sad thing is, when you hit the bonfire, all the enemies respawn. But I guess you need them to, for souls anyways. But uh, there's some useful items for the beginning. If you don't, if you didn't level up, there's some cool items. Not, well, not really as like cool. It's just like you can easily get some fire bombs, some a better weapon possibly. If you're not into the whole skimitar, you jump down here by all them boxes and go down the stairs. There's a guy here. He's a merchant and. He sells repair powders, fire bombs, Lloyd's talismans, and orange guidance soapstone. It's for basically telling you can write messages and other players will see it and then if they rate it up you'll get some humanity. But if you go over to the keys, there's a residence key, I suggest getting that for opening other doors. Bottomless box that lets you store your items at a bonfire just to make your inventory less all cluttered and more organized easier to find stuff. He sells a skimitar, rapier, and hand axe and stuff, but Thank you, kind. I'm just gonna Thank stick you, with the skimitar and make my way to the next boss. But I'm gonna take a little detour over here go down these stairs. Like, see, if, if if you aren't fast enough, they're just gonna keep hitting you and comboing you out. I mean, look at like I'm I'm pushing R1 as fast as possible, and they still hit me. But if you climb up this ladder, you'll go on top of a house, and then there'll be some knives. But if you go right here and hold circle and then press circle when you jump off you'll get into this house right here it's the only way to get into that house when you come up here you'll get a crossbow it's not very good but some people want all items so you gotta be specific with some things but I just jumped down those stairs and came back here they're all spawned again those guys with those damn missed an item right here there's more souls it's only like 200 it's not really worth getting anyways what it could be when since you're just starting and easy soul leveling up but I'm gonna re-hit the bonfire and let them all spawn back again I bought the residence key already and bottomless box so but then you want to, I'm just rush over here. If you go over here to the right, there'll be some black fire bombs. Skeletons up here, I suggest you take out the Lloyd's house from him first because he's a little pussy and he always hits you far away. But later on in the game, I probably won't be showing too much of acquiring all the items. It's just basically getting through the level. But 
there's some more shit up here. More souls for later. I won't use the souls unless you want to level up. But if you have the resonance key, you can open that also. The master key opens that, but later in the game you actually need the resonance key to free a mage out of his house to acquire some magic spells later on. That will be shown later in videos. Like right there, one stab from them takes away half your life as a wanderer, so you have to be very cautious when you fight these guys, otherwise you just get one-hitted. The easiest way to kill them is backstabbing. Just make sure you don't have your shield up when you backstab, otherwise you will not backstab. So let go of L1 when you're targeted on them and push R1. There is a knight down here, you can kill him, and there's a ring back there, but... The ring isn't good at all, so it's not really worth getting right now. But when you come upstairs, there'll be a fire barrel, and you just basically dodge it. Take out that guy, and you're fine to go up. And here's also an extra feature before the boss. You go, if you go down to the bottom, there'll be a ha guy in Havel armor. He's really pretty much impossible to kill at level 3 but if you s but I've done it it's, it it just is it takes too long so I'm not gonna really show it because you barely do any damage I guess I'm gonna miss this thing oh no I didn't but that was it drops smithing supplies to upgrade weapons later when you get up here to the white light there's a box here and he's inside it. and if you kill it you drop some twinkling tent and that enlarge shards too but this is where the boss is first you want to climb up this ladder and then basically take out these crossbow guys first because these guys are really annoying if you fight the boss they'll kill you pretty damn fast you see i only have like one esta flask left after i just drank this one uh you really don't need much here. He's not that hard. If you fight him head on, he's a pretty tough at this level, but there's a little cheap way to fight him. Right when he spawns, I didn't have enough time, but what you want to do is right when he spawns, is run up the ladder, and then you can down throw, stab him. I'm just luring him away from the ladder first, and then just Look at that, easily ran through him right when he is about to attack. Climb up this ladder as fast as possible. Usually he'll miss you when you climb up the ladder, but if you're not fast enough, he'll hit you. If you stay up here fat long enough, he will come up there and start attacking you. So you better hurry up and get out of there. But yeah, easy, easy box. Just keep doing this over and over again. Or unless those black fire bombs you got, just throw them at them. But the other strategy is to just keep jumping up the ladder. I'm just gonna use waste these black fire bombs because they're not really useful. I don't find them very useful for me, but they are pretty good. And then the second boss is defeated and you're on to the next area and that